Are we doing 2024 wish list? Do it. Yeah, what's 2024? It could do two wish lists, by the way. One is like more smart home focused and the other one is like more home assistant focused. Yeah, yeah. What would you like think, in home assistant? What would you like to see in the smart home devices world happening? Um, I think so smart home wise. Um uh, Again, way more local stuff, way more. Um, I'd love to see actual progression in matter. Yes. That's um, what I was gonna yes. Say. Yeah. Uh, like, I, again, I, I, I and, and thread for that matter too. Just uh, again, the ability to have Breath for multiple. That matter. Cool. <laughs> That's a really nice expression. I got to really yes. remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and even, even uh, again, like expansion into the matter standard itself, right? So that, so that more people can start uh, building against it. And, and we, we've talked about this on the creators call a few times where matter's great, but it can only do so much today, right? There's there's still a lot of pieces missing there, uh, that kind of thing. Um, it is it is cool that the Matter team uses Home Assistant as their uh, testing. Was it Matter that was using that? Yeah, the, to test. Uh, there are very many companies that use Home Assistant to test spec. with Matter. Yeah, right, the spec. Yeah, it's, so it's just easy to play with and debug as well, right? So that that yeah. makes it the our developer experience is really good because we're open source and trying to make it accessible for everyone compared to yeah. any other co closed source project, right? So Which that, I still think is super cool. Helps, yeah, that is super yeah. cool. Um, well, I'm myself. I'm still the skeptical one. I'm still not a matter believer, but that might that might change. I'm it changed either. a little bit already. Like I do think it has potential right now yeah. instead of no potential before. Yeah. So I got more positive myself, but still, yeah. I I I I think this will still take years to be yes. uh, mature. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I I want that acceleration, uh, right? If that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Like yeah, that makes sense. Let it, let it not okay. be years. Let it be. 2024 <laughs> right that's uh, uh i think the other thing i'd love mm -hmm. to see home assistant wise um is is continued work on uh voice and uh doing things like a lot more interactive uh, like i know that i've seen i've seen videos on youtube and stuff where people are like hey let's try and uh do some like gpt stuff and like a lot of mm -hmm. that kind of thing right um I'd love to see some kind of local GPT instances, uh, so on, and then and then that powering voice as well. So like I can be like, so, so uh, today I, I, you know, to my Amazon Echo, like myself or my wife or whoever, would be like, hey, you know, uh, I don't know, tell me about the country of something or the other, right? Like and and like like or give, give me information about this, right? And which is great, it does. Home Assistant Voice today is a single use, single point thing, right? So, and even, even in terms of uh, understanding the way people talk and stuff like that, right? Nuances like turn on the light versus turn the light on versus different things like that, right? So I think uh, it just allows for a ton more flexibility there. So I don't know. I'd love to see something like that. Like I don't want to use... Open AI. I don't want to like like I don't want to use their like cloud entity, right? I want to see it locally if that's possible. That's so cool about the voice this year is there's so many parts to a voice project, right? And we've mm. been able to put that out and show mm. actually the whole progress, right? Over yeah. all the chapters that have happened. And 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 when the first chapter came out, people were like, But hey, why can't I talk to it? And I do have to write the first iteration was writing yeah. to it in text. Yeah. But it was about intent processing. And then we came up with voice, but had no wake words. And then everyone was like, where's the wake word? So finally, chapter yeah. four, the wake word came. But this is like the whole train that's happening, right? And the, yeah, whole, yeah, yeah. the whole pipeline, as it's actually what it's called inside Home Assistant as well, is now there. Uh, now, the next part of the journey is like making each of those parts better and expanded, I guess, uh, which yeah. is the exciting part now um, uh, to see yeah. that happen. And, um, yeah, but that is there. You can now easily swap things out or improve parts of mm -hmm. things. And I'm I'm really looking forward to that. I agree a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Good. Phil? Phil? Uh, I'm going to go? go, I don't want to go home assistant. Um, I want to go Nabucasa. Um, I would love to see Nabu's next foray into hardware. I, I, I suspect or I, I think... 
you, we've had a big, you know, journey on vo- year of the voice. So I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be some hardware um, to handle that. That's fine. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to waste a wish on that. I would like Home Mister Nabucasa's <laughs> next, you know, d- hardware to be into the control, like the tablet on the wall hardware sort of. How can I Ooh, put the Home Mister dashboard line. on my wall? And nice not have an Amazon ink display. Exactly, yeah. Not not have yeah. an Amazon Echo tablet that you know is going to be turned off by Jeff when he kills their team. Um, it's not going to be you know a Google Pixel tablet that you know is going to cost me you know almost a thousand dollars, but you know is affordable and looks nice, attractive on the wall, um, or is an ink display that is not you know ridiculously expensive because ink is. <laughs> <laughs> somehow expensive, really expensive, yes. right? Um, but yeah, I would love Nebuchadnezzar to get into that sort of hardware because I think, yeah, one thing I've struggled with is, you know, how can I put a tablet on the wall and make it look nice without spending thousands of dollars on good hardware to do it? Uh, yeah. And, yeah. And, you know, the Amazon Echo devices just become billboards around the house, you know, showing their, you know, stupid ads or whatever, Um which is the trade-off to have the little lady in every room, but that's you know, that's my wish. Yeah. Um, and for the you know, uh, for my own smart app, I'd love to be able to start using uh, Matter. Like I just want to stop talking about it, right? I want to start using yeah. it. Like I just feel as though yeah. there's a whole bunch of talk going along about it and updates we're seeing, but there's nothing really yeah. there that can be used yeah. yet. No one's rolling out You have support from Matter devices. fridges, but there's none you can buy, right? Yeah. Exactly, right? Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's stop talking about it and let's put it in the wild and start getting people using it. So Yeah. And 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 I think that's that that sounds like that's less of home assistant, more of just the ecosystem, right? Like just yeah. start start building stuff matter first. Um wherever possible. What about yeah. you, Frank? What have you what, what's your twenty yeah, to make up something now really quick? <laughs> no, you asked the question. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, and I could have expected it as well, right? No, so for, for the smart home itself, like the, the general home, yeah, I, I think more local, I would love to see. I think that also is a little bit up up to ourselves, like stop accepting cloud. I think we need to be more aware of what we do, right? Like, yeah, MyQ is a great example. Mazda is a really bit harder, like how would you build a local car? But nevertheless, like that, these are good examples in in what's happening. So local is always been an important focus and I think people should be more aware. But I also think if we stop buying cloud devices, eventually they will learn. Um, So I I agree with Ron stands like more local devices in general. Uh, If that's matter, that's fine. Matter is local, that's good. Uh, yeah, but anything will do. Um, be more open and and work together. For that's for the for the general hardware stance. I don't have any thing hardware wise I really want at this point that I miss. But more local would be nice. Yeah, definitely. From a home assistant perspective, oh man, I can open up books of stuff I want. I guess <laughs> that I work on this thing all day, right? Um, I, I I do have uh, uh, I do have a, a, a thing that I really want to have for a long time, and I know many in the community want to, and I hope we can get to it this year. Uh, one is I made a proof of concept for already, which has been pending since April 2022, uh, which is still open and there. It's complete and ready. It's just missing UX. But I want to add the notion of labels to Home Assistant, maybe. Maybe that's my wish that it lands. Basically, would mm. love to be able to label things in my home and then target automations against the label. For example, second floor or add in all Christmas decorations or things like that. So if you label things like that, you could filter down or target things in your home based on a free categorization that's not bound to areas. Um, so that's one I wish and I hope just like many, many, many other people, we'll get folders in our automations and scripts <laughs> dialogues to uh, uh, to put things into. And uh, yeah, that's my personally wish, personal wish too. 
That's how I hope we get there. But in general, I hope we can do a lot of things this year. My personal personal wish would be a lot of improvements to how the UI for automations work. A little less complex, a little more sophisticated, but not necessarily less capable, if that makes mm. sense. Mm. Um, because I, the automation engine in Home Assistant is insanely powerful and uh, it can be even more powerful, but it is already pretty complex, even in the UI. And I think for usability and for making more people use it in the correct way, we could improve there. And that's something I wish for. So this is basically my home assistant wishes uh, right now. Yeah, I think that, that will do. But I'm okay. more an automation focused person than a UI dashboard based for person. So it depends, I guess, what you ask. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, those are good. I like that. <laughs>